What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of It's Scary to Remarry. I am Sean Heineman. Today's topic, I have to talk to the ladies, right? I have to. Today's topic is the quickest way to lose your man. Why would I name a title as such? Because I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help my ladies out there. Sometimes, you almost have to put a negative out there for people to get people's attention. Uh, the quickest way, there's one. And that is, let's get straight to the point. The quickest way to lose your man is through disrespect. Now, let me say this. If he's not the man that you want him to be, the question is, are you willing to work with him? Are you willing to stay the course? Now, some guys you just shouldn't mess with. Some guys you automatically know he wasn't no good for you and you shouldn't have been messing with him anyway, but you thought he was cute and all that sort of stuff. Uh, that's a different topic for a different time. But if you're willing to stay the course and work with this man uh, through his issues, then stay the course. Uh, don't dog him out. Because you chose to stick around and go through this maturation process with him. Now, I do believe most guys need to come into a relationship emotionally healthy. Um, that's just what I believe. When you're emotionally healthy, you can give more of yourself as opposed to always taking. So the quickest way to lose your man is disrespect. And the the some of the disrespect could be the way that you talk to him. Maybe it's belittling. Maybe it's your tone of voice. Uh, maybe it's tact. It's, it's, it's the way that you talk to him or maybe the timing is wrong. You know, might he might have just got off of work and you might have just got off work and y'all both frustrated and you mad at him because he didn't do this or that or, you know, whatever. And then sometimes you got women who say, what's the difference between uh, nagging and, and uh, complaining and all this other stuff? I think when you ask a man to do something, he should do it the first time around. But after that, then sometimes when you ask him two, three or four or five times, it can become nagging. But as a man, he needs to handle whatever she asks the first time around. Or you could just say, you know what, I'll take care of this at this amount of time or this day. You know, like let her know that you're going to do it, but you you're going to set a time on it. So that way she's not nagging you. And as a man, if you're going to do it, do it. Stick to your word because your word is everything. So the quickest way to lose your man is through disrespect. Again, it could be your tone. It can be the way that you talk to him. Is it belittling? Are you talking to him like a child? No one likes to be talked to like a child. And I mean, that's one of the reasons why most guys, they just like, you know what? I'm out. I need a break. Let things simmer down. And that's okay because sometimes you do. Sometimes you need to simmer down. Sometimes you need to just take a break for a second and then come back. I had to learn that in my own relationship as well because I'm like, no, let's handle this now. And we're in the heat of the moment. But sometimes you just need to let things simmer down. And as a woman, if you need to say something to him or you feel like it's going to come off disrespectful, give yourself that time to say that you need to step away and then you will come back. So that way, because once it's out there, you cannot take those words back. What I can say is how to keep him coming back to you, how to keep his attention. I, maybe I should have named the video that how to uh, keep his attention. I don't know. Because there's so many things that, that vie for our attention today, whether that's Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, um, YouTube, whatever. There's so many things that's vying for our attention. Kids, our job, right? So if you can speak life to him, if you can stroke his ego, that's going to always keep him coming back. Ask yourself, how often are you complimenting him? Are you compliment, complimenting him maybe twice a day or telling him thank you? Like, thank you and please, using those words go a long way. You can ask him, hey, babe, can you take out the trash, please? Instead of saying, when are you going to take out the trash? You see the difference? Just make sure that you say please and thank you. You know, if you, whatever, and if he does something for you, 
make sure you say thank you. Whether if it's the smallest things. I think a lot of times we get caught up in he's supposed to do this or that. He's supposed to. When you have that sense of quote unquote entitlement, it can really wreak havoc wreck havoc on a relationship so just make sure to say stuff like please and thank you and if you aren't that type of person just start trying to work on it slowly but surely and i promise you you'll get more results um, from your man when you're saying things like please and thank you and stroking his ego um just you know say little small stuff to him ladies you know what it takes you you did it to get him whatever you did to get him is what you need to do <laughs> To keep them as well, especially as the relationship goes on um, throughout the course of time. You know, relationships and marriages take work. Here's here's a, a quick tip real quick. You ever really wonder why men like going to the strip club? Well, I, I know that. But yeah, he liked to yeah, he likes to look at that stuff too. But one of the reasons is he likes his ego stroke like women at the strip club they they stroke your ego so much it's ridiculous and granted they just doing it because they got to get their money but they do a great job at it they'll come to the table and sit with you and talk with you and stroke your ego they'll tell you stuff and you just like oh and then next thing you know you don't left the strip club strip club broke and it's because those strippers they know how to stroke his ego so maybe you can learn something from a stripper. I'm just tripping. But anyway, always know, ladies, that a man is going to go wherever he's valued. So if you're speaking life to him, if you're stroking his ego, whether that's in a text message, look at your text message. If your text messaging is all about what he's not doing or what he needs to do, maybe you need to switch it up a little bit. Maybe you need to start off the morning even you're on the way to work. Hey, babe, just wanted to say thank you for cooking last night. I really appreciate that. I was allowed to get some sleep last night. Small stuff. You will be surprised with saying just the smallest things can uh, help a relationship. So just take the time to stroke his ego and saying please and thank you. Those can go a long way in your relationship. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you leave a comment below. I would like to hear from you all. I always respond in the comment section. I am Sean Heineman. Share this video with a friend. Share this with a, with, with, a, with a man or with a woman. Share this with somebody. I believe all the things that I've been through in life is to help others as well. I have to pay it forward. So I will talk to you soon, people. Take care.